What's up everyone, Scooter here with Macintosh Tips. It is great to be back giving you guys tips and tutorials and reviews. Uh, school has kind of uh, lightened down a little bit. Exams are coming up, but um, for the most part, I'm done with the bulk and the hard essays and things like that. Now it's just exam prep. So I want to shoot out a video to you guys um, before all that happens. EB has actually finished with school this semester, and he is on summer break officially, uh, so congrats to EB, and I talked to him today, and he should have a video to you guys shortly. As you will see, I have iCal located here in my dock, and basically, guys, I only use iCal only when I want to know what the day's date is. I go over to my dock, oh, it's the 7th, okay, great. But now with this new handy tip, you're going to be able to add in holidays and random holidays and sports schedules and, and uh, updates to when new video games come out to your iCal with one click of a button, so I'm gonna, probably going to be using iCal a little bit more, opening it up, and seeing what's coming up. Let me go ahead and show you. So before this video, iCal was blank, and now you see my whole month of May is filled up, um, June is, all that, and how do I have it? Well, if you look closely, I have two things located right now in my iCal. I have the United States holidays, such as Cinco de Mayo, or um, International, or, you know, whatever it is, whatever the holiday is for the U.S., and I also have lesser known holidays, such as for uh, on May 8th, it's no socks at on no sock day, and on you know on the 11th, it's eat what you want day. So I added those to iCal. So now it's be pretty cool to check back and see how I did these. Basically, what you're going to be doing, you're going to be subscribing to new uh, to new events. And let me go ahead and give you guys a link and show you how to do this. So if I open up Google Chrome here, you'll see it iCalShare.com. You can search thousands of holidays and sports calendars. This is very helpful so you can see when the next upcoming game is. So they have new calendars, holiday calendars, best of iCal share, things like that. Or you can go up here and go to calendars, or categories, sorry. You can go to categories and you can search here. So let me go ahead and search two for you and show you how it works. Alright, so I'm going to go to sports and I'm going to go to baseball since baseball is kind of in season now. And you have it by team, so Phillies, White Sox. Uh, high schools even, um, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, so I subscribe here. If I click it, um, you'll see it has, you know, all that stuff for it to happen. And you can see the upcoming events. All I do is hit subscribe to calendar. I'll launch the application, which is iCal. Here's a link to the URL which I'm subscribing to. I hit subscribe. Now, there's several options here. You can name it, which will end up over here. So I can just say Phillies schedule all right I can put a description if I want go Phillies and that's the link and I also have these three things here the alarms attachments to do items I don't want any alarms that can get repetitive so I just take those off I'll take all three of these things off and auto refresh is something very helpful that you guys might want to know because auto refresh refreshes everything that happens if something changes it'll refresh so I have that to set every day all right, you can have it set however you want, but I'm going to set it to every day. Hit OK, and boom, just like that, it automatically syncs. And if you're not too familiar with iCal, if you don't like the color, just right-click, get info, and then you can go back in here and change it. Let's say I change it to orange, hit OK, and now my colors change. Like I said, they have thousands of calendars. Let me go back in here and show you one more, which I All think right, so I'm going to go ahead and check out another one here. And this one's kind of funny and cool, I guess, to check up on if you're into this kind of thing. But basically, I'm going to locate a calendar now for when celebrities' birthdays are. And so if you go to subscribe calendar, launch application, subscribe, same process. It'll download, you hit OK, and boom, you have all these things. And so from here, you can go April 26th birthdays, and you click on it, and you will see whose birthdays uh, are, are here, basically, which is pretty cool. Now, the only thing I don't like about this application or... It's really a user preference. You know, I, as you see, I've downloaded just four here, and it looks pretty cluttered and crowded depending on your color. So you really got to choose your color scheme right. But, guys, this is a great way to use iCal instead of just having it sit there uselessly. Uh, just use this thing, and you have holidays, events, movies coming out, all that. So this has been Scooter with Macintosh Tips. Hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tip. The link will be in my pants. I mean, the link will be in the down bar for you to check out and start using iCal. More videos coming soon from EB and myself. If you have any requests, comment below. Follow us on Twitter. Yada, 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 yada. Peace.